now we can do this question so first of all we need to check the number of variables here x1 x2 x3 there are three variables so x1 x2 x3 so x transpose it will be x1 x2 again x3 so the first element first of all we need to write the diagonal element x1 into x1 that is x1 square the quotient here x1 square it is 1 then x2 into x2 that is x2 square the quotient here x2 square it is 2 now x3 into x3 that is x3 square the quotient here x3 square it is 1 now we wrote all the diagonal element now this element will be product of x1 and x2 so we will have product x1 x2 the quotient here x1 x2 here and here also we can see this element it is a product of x2 and x1 that is it is a product of x1 and x2 so both this element will have the same product so the coefficient near x1 x2 it is minus 2 so we need to give this minus 2 half here and half here so minus 2 is half it is 1 minus 1 here and minus 1 here now this element is a product of x1 and x3 x1 x3 here also we can see x1 that is x3 into x1 same as x1 x3 so two places we have the same coefficient same product so the coefficient here x1 x3 it is 4 so we need to divide for half of that we need to give here half we need to give here so the coefficient near x1 x3 it is 4 half will be 2 we need to give here 2 we need to give here now this element is the product of x2 and x3 x2 x3 here also x3 and x2 that means same as x2 x3 the quotient here x2 x3 it is 2 we need to give half here and half here so 2's half it is 1 so this will be our final matrix that we are getting from this quadratic form suppose if there was no 4 x1 x3 term x1 x3 quotient term was not there then what we, what we need to do we need to put 0 in that place x1 x3's place we need to put 0 and this will be our matrix now it's your turn do this question and check whether you are getting this matrix as the answer okay